Right, Troops, your man Chris Scullion here from Tyrol Hack, and this is the first of my first play videos uh, where I basically get started on a game for the first time and record it so that you can experience it for the first time alongside me. Uh, today we're looking at The Flame in the Flood, which was just released on the Nintendo Switch eShop. It's been out on other systems before, but this is the first time I've played it on anything. Um, I've seen bits and pieces and it looks quite nice, so... Let's see what it's got in its locker and how the Switch version uh, holds up. While we start up, um, I'd like to remind you that I, I'm accompanying most of my gameplay uh, will be Iron Brew Extra. Uh, all the taste of Iron Brew. Um, and I say none of the sugar, but very little of the sugar. Let me look at the back. Trace amount, a trace amount of, of the sugar. Yeah, that is not a paid sponsorship, that's just my own love. So here we go, Flame and Flood, from what little I know about this game, uh, death is a certainty. Um, it appears to be a kind of survival based game where you have to um, last as long as you can essentially, um, without dying. Uh, a pro gamer always checks the options. Fuck, there's a lot of controls. Okay, no worries. No, oh, there's checkpoints. Alright, well I'm a new traveller, so let's do it. That to me suggests there'll be more than a dog later on, but let's go for that just now. Aesop. Right, so let's see. Unnecessarily long loading time. Watch and all, that's what these videos are, so. That's really long, actually. So here we go. It looks nice. I'll give it that much. Set up fire to craft an ash cake. Was it a crafting game? What do the buttons do? I don't want to be uh, start on a negative note, but I really don't like crafting in games, so I'm going to have to go above and beyond. This is my own personal thing. I, I don't hold it against it, but I just, I'm just not a fan of it. Okay, let's make this ash cake. Let's see, get charcoal as well. I can do that. Geese match charcoal. Right. I love the art style though. I wasn't too keen on the character design, but I like everything else. Okay. Oh, so you've got sim style hunger, thirst, things at the bottom, so that's quite good. What have I got then already? Uh, ash cake, charcoal, feather, sapling. Fine. Right, let's get a move on then. I love the atmosphere, it's brilliant. Fuck 
Kolkov. Take all. You are thirsty. Well, I'm not, because I've just had iron brew extra. All the taste. Um, what was Kiefer? Oh, so I can. Where's some water? A box of water just there. Can I use the jar to take that water? I was sh I was sure I walked through some water. Maybe I'm <laughs> mistaken. Never mind. Okay, well, bear that in mind. If I see some water, I can use the jar to scoop it up for when I get thirsty. Oh, here's some. Mm. That's polluted water, so. Oh, and because I've got the water filter, I can now make clean water. Oh, okay. So that means I can drink that later when I get thirsty and not be sick. Okay. Clever. Okay. Craft a stone knife and stone hammer. It's a decent we use our interface. I've kind of got the hang of it already. You can probably play for a couple of minutes. It's pretty clear. There's your goals. There's what you what you can craft and how to do it. That's quite good. So what do I need to do? Make a stone knife and stone hammer. There's a stone knife. Two flints. Oh and wait. Two flints and a braided cord, and I can make. Was it? And I can make the braided cord now. Yes. I just need two flints and then it's fucking stop hammer time. It looks really nice. I'm very impressed by how it looks. This, I love the soundtrack as well. Wonder if it's on Spotify. It's hard to roll. Oh, look at that, that's lovely. Oh, I'm gonna crash. Oh, fuck. Faster. That looks really nice. I like this. I'm still not a big fan of the crafting, but other than that, this is a nice start. I don't know where I'm going though. I'm still going to need to find another kind of dock because it None of these lands have any kind of docks near them, and that's where my boat was originally. And there's a marker at the top. Maybe I can go there. Oh look, <laughs> I just looked at that as I went past it. Oh, here we go. Can I go here? There's a cheeky wee dock. Often has flint, well that's what I need, so in like flint.
looks lovely. What a really well designed game. Like, artistically designed. Frame rate's a tiny wee bit choppy, but other than that, kind of selling, eh? Moldy lumps and fire, so I can do that then. Penicillin me up. Boop. Yeah, I don't like the lead character design close up, but I suppose you don't really see her that often that close from there. It, she looks fine. Flint then, so much for Rich and Flint. Oh, I don't think so. I'm sure there's people who are experts at this game and know that there's Flint all over the place and they're screaming at the telly just now, saying, Flint! It's all over you it's all over the place, there's Flint as far as the eye can see and you're missing it, you prick. But, as we get, <laughs> you've never played it before. <clears throat> okay, back on the box. I saw there was other places I can go by the looks of it. Go on the boat, mate. No, you were... Okay, how do you steer it? I don't know how to steer this boat, I'm just crashing it all the time. <laughs> Fucking hell. Go that way. That way. Well, that was fucking unnecessary. I've clearly not got the... the boat handling down right. Here's another. Light on supplies, why am I going here? You barking at? Can't tell if he barks because he's found something or if he's just barking for the sake of it. Stop bleeding. Cure a laceration. Well, I don't have a laceration, so that I know of. Oh, inventory full, shit. I didn't realise that you had a limited number of things. Aesop's bag. Does that mean I can give the dog stuff? Ah, good. Alright, mate, you're taking. All this stuff I don't need. Oh no, I'll need that. Oh no, I'm going to. Cooked yucca. Okay, so I've got a fire, I can cook that. I get it. yourself. Well, that was a flint. Have I got enough flints then? No. One flint. I sleep till daytime so I don't like I like this. It's gentle. I appreciate it's probably not the best 
the most um, exhilarating thing to be watching, but I think it's quite peaceful, quite nice. Now let's get out of here because there's not really much I can do. Well, I'm aware that a lot of my kind of sim style meters are going down. Especially hunger and thirst, but I've got food there and I've got that clean water, so presumably she can just drink that later and be alright. Is that, is that just wreckage? these bits I can't do. Fuck! At least I've got something to fix, <laughs> to fix that, uh, fix the raft. I'm just not sure how to do it yet. <laughs> it's always nice and sunny and Peaceful until I get to where I'm supposed to be going, and then suddenly shit goes down. Oh, it's gonna rain. Alright, noted. Oh, so I need to get, get shelter before something bad happens. Pneumonia or something, I don't know. I mean, a lovely wee effect, the thunder effect. Flint, yes! That means I can make my knife now. Right, let me... Let me find some... Oh, I use fire. Oh, I can't use a fucking fire because it's raining. I said I needed shelter first. I don't know where... Is there just no shelter here? Is that where it is? yourself. <laughs> Hungry. Yeah, well. Oh! Fuck off. Broken bone? Oh. That's far from ideal. <laughs> Broken bone, I've got no shelter. Can I just get out of here? I don't like this island. <laughs> I want to move on to the next one, please. Oh, there's a sprint button. How do I fix the raft? Oh, you can stash things in the raft as well, okay. Right, well I'm thirsty, so let me drink the water. Hey! And I'm hungry, so... Ash cake. Night crawlers. Right. Oh, it's not raining anymore, does that mean... Hey! Okay. I've still got a broken bone though, how do I fix that? I don't know how to fix broken bones. Any of these do anything? <laughs> I can swagger all over the place. 
with our broken bones. Oh, where was that campfire? I can, I can build a fire here at least. This is why I don't like crafting and stuff, just just do it. Well, I'm not wet anymore, but I've got I've still got fucking broken bones. I can cook this now. Yoink. So cook more as good. I don't know if I'm doing this, I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but... Fuck it. Oh, so you can get a bow. Gas bomb. Can I use a gas bomb on that pig then that broke my fucking leg? Probably a suicide mission. <laughs> I really shouldn't be taking on this pig. I should just let it be. Oh, but wait, where's my? Have ah. some of that, yeah, dick. I don't have any weapons, I do. Just that. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> No, give me some water. Ah! <laughs> no, I've got two broken bones. <laughs> Fuck off. I don't have a weapon. That hammer's useless. No, 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 no. What a dick. What's the point of that hammer? Functional for making traps and skinning animals. Oh, so you can't actually, it's not a weapon, it's just for... Oh, that's fucking... What, what was the, uh, the other thing I had to craft? The, the hammer, was it? Stone hammer. One flint, one rags. Well, there was a rags there and I, they didn't... Oh, fuck it. Come on. Back in the raft, mate. We are two broken bones. <laughs> I don't know how to fix broken bones, that's a concern of mine. <laughs> that looks like a church. Not sure what use a church will be, but let's see what it does. Often his rags stitch and gets right. Well, hopefully, something here. To fix my broken bones. I love the music though. I can fill my jar here as well. Is the jar gone once I've used it once for water? Church doesn't actually have any healing properties, you just sleep at it. So does that mean oh search? Couple of rags, oh splint, that'll help. Oh and I can make it. 
Does that mean I can hear one of them? Yes, I've only got one broken bone there. Alcohol. More rags. Oh, a bandage, nice one. And a torch, right. Now we're talking. This church has been a blessing. <laughs> Bring light to the night and scare off creatures. I'm cuts and I don't have any cuts and burns just now. I want another splint. How did you make that again? I need one more rag to make a... Oh, I'm starving. Fuck, I just noticed the food thing at the bottom. Um, let's get the most nutrition. Less. Still quite hungry, but that'll do for now. It's really, it's a stressful game. This is, it's, it's weird. It's a mix between really peaceful and really stressful. Cause like I'm, um, I just want to kind of explore and have fun with it. But I'm, can got a broken leg. I'm starving. Not so much now, but I was starving. I'm going to be starving again soon. It's, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to take in. You know what I mean? I do like it though, as first impressions go, it makes good ones. I missed that one, there's no way of going back I don't think. You go where the river takes me. Assuming those things in the water will damage my raft. So presumably the reason I'm very bad at this is because uh, controlling the raft is because I'm not going with the flow of the water. I'm supposed to be following the path the water flows. Very hungry again, it said. I can't bring my inventory up here while I'm on the raft. It said earlier about raft upgrades, I'm assuming one of the upgrades is just to make it easier to control, that's the kind of point. Well, fishing line, can I fish? Can I just fish here? That would be ideal. <laughs> Probably not. No. Fuck! Oh, I need food again. I think I've got much food left, it's nutritional. I could be dying soon here, folks. Let's get parasites in it, though. Oh, now I'm wet, apparently. It started raining again. It's good, but I need some rags. Oh, now you're talking. Get that bone bro unbroken. Yes. Oh, insulated jacket and insulated pants. Get their pants made. There we go, the old insulated pants are on. There we go. I'm oh, starving again. I don't have any food. Two cattails, which is like nothing. Ah, oh, this is the end, I think. 
I've got. There's a bit of garlic. Problem is, I've got these, but they've got parasites. I really don't want to have to eat them. Oh fuck! That's really bad. <laughs> Look at the face at the bottom of the skull on it. Okay, I'm gonna have to eat these, even though they've got parasites. Uh, that's gonna kill her anyway, is it not? Yeah, and I've got. <laughs> well, is there anything I've got that cures parasites? If not, we're dead. <laughs> Penicillin? Yes! Oh, but I need food really badly, <laughs> otherwise I'm just going to starve again. I wish I could catch the rabbits, but I don't have enough. Oh, I like it. Is there stuff on the raft? Did I put... If I go on the raft, I'll just die of hunger on the raft because it looks like time passes quicker on the raft. I'm going to die here, let's face it. That's kind of the, the theme of the game, innit? You die. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that's the theme of the game, I'm not just really bad at it. Saplings? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Have I got literally nothing? <laughs> well, that's me dead then. So I can't move quickly enough to reach food, and I can't see any food. I can't sleep in the bus because. It looks like when you sleep, you get hungrier. So I'm gonna die. What are those yellow things? I've still got parasites. Oh, that's it. Well, there we go, folks. <laughs> Starved to death with a broken bone and parasites inside me. I think it's safe to say when it comes to survival, that's not a success. Uh, far from it. How long before? Oh, there we go. Mate, that's the least of my worries, to be fair, I'm thirsty. I never go. <laughs> Cause of death, starvation. Well... That's my first attempt at it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure with multiple playthroughs I'll learn what to do and what not to do, but I'm happy I've managed to survive about half an hour there. Um, it seems like a natural place to draw a line under this first play video because that was literally my first play of the game. Um, I like that. I, I don't. I'm still not sure. I'm in love with the crafting mechanics, but that's just my general dislike for crafting, um, as opposed to the way the game does it. I'm sure other people who are into that kind of thing, uh, games like Don't Starve and all that, will will we'll appreciate it more for for what that is. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. But the game in general, I love the art style, I love the music, it creates an amazing atmosphere. Um, yeah, I'll need to play more of it to see how I feel about the um, how harsh it seems to be. Maybe it's not that harsh, maybe I was just, I've not learned the, the ropes yet and I need to figure out how to get more plentiful food and how to fend off that fucking pig that broke my leg um, and stuff like that. But yeah, it's... I'm happy with that so far, that's that's a good start. Hopefully you enjoyed that, I appreciate it's a slower pace than most games so you might have been a wee bit, uh, not bored but there might have been times where it was a wee bit uh, less action packed than usual. But hopefully you kind of got a point of what the flame in the flood is like and hopefully it should help encourage you whether you want to buy the game or not and try it out. It's currently on Nintendo Switch eShop and I believe it's on other formats as well, I'll need to check. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, like and subscribe to all that YouTube shit, you know how it works um, and yeah I'll catch you on the flip flop with another one soon, thanks guys, bye bye